Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the following question. What is a nonlinear graph? Now, before we answer that, it's helpful to answer the opposite question. What is a linear graph? And quite simply, it's any graph of a straight line. It might look something like this. Or it might be horizontal line. Essentially, a linear graph is just a graph of relationship between two variables in which the relationship is linear. Typically of the form y equals ax plus b, where a and b can be any constants, including 0. For example, if you were to have both a and b set to 0, then you would just get y equals 0, which is simply the x-axis. So, a nonlinear graph is simply any graph where the curve is not linear, which seems somewhat obvious, but there are many, many different curves and functions which can produce very interesting shapes. For example, we have our familiar parabola, given by y equals x squared. That's nonlinear. It is a polynomial, but because we have a term with a degree higher than 1, it is a nonlinear polynomial. We can also have things that are slightly more exotic. For example, this curve. You may recognize this as a trigonometric curve. This is sine of x. You may learn more about what the trigonometric curves are in a pre-calculus or calculus class. But there are other types of, or families of curves that may come up in mathematics. We have what's known as the bell curve, which I'll draw here in blue. The bell curve, or sometimes called the normal curve, which comes up in statistics to describe the behavior of a number of different data sets. And there are entirely different systems of measurement that come up with very interesting curves. We could have something like this. Clearly, that is not the curve of a function because it doesn't pass our vertical line test. We see that in a number of places, we can draw a vertical line that crosses through our curve twice. But this is a function if we use something that's known as polar coordinates. And there are several different systems of coordinates that which can produce very interesting exotic curves like this. And of course, they're all nonlinear because a linear graph simply uses straight lines. And that's all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed what is a nonlinear graph.